In this episode, we finally reach one of those milestones that looks simple on paper and weighs as much as a baby elephant in real life, mating the fuselage to the empennage. This time, I brought my son Connor. Now Connor's a mechanical engineer, which means two things. One, he was very eager to get his hands on the airplane he's heard so much about, and B, he's much smarter than I am. We left early on the morning of October 19th, long before the sun had made up its mind. And somewhere over New York, I handed Connor the controls and told him to hold altitude and heading. And wouldn't you know it, the kid flew like he'd been doing it for years. Locked in, focused, steady as a machine. It was like watching someone who grew up playing flight simulators and finally getting the chance to try the full-scale version, and he nailed it. After landing, we exchanged introductions and got straight to work. First came the test fit, lining up the two massive pieces of airplane that suddenly looked more intimidating when you're standing at them from three feet away. Once we were confident with the alignment, Eli brought out the adhesive, the black goop, the stuff that gives you just enough working time to contemplate your life choices, but not enough to fix them. It was messy but manageable, and here's the best part. Connor took to the process immediately, and after about five minutes, he wasn't just helping, he was forging ahead. We showed him something once, and he got it. I stepped back, handed him the rein, and watched him work with the same quiet confidence that he showed in the cockpit. Turns out, building an airplane with your kid is less about assembly and more about revelation. Somewhere in the rhythm of reaming and riveting, you catch a glimpse of the little boy who used to ride on your shoulders, now standing beside you as a man helping you build something that will one day leave the earth. And in that instant, you realize the airplane isn't the thing taking shape here. The memory is. Once the two massive pieces were glued, reamed, clecoed, and finally riveted into something that looked suspiciously like an airplane, we stepped back to admire the scale of what we just done. And let me tell you, seeing the fuselage and empennage joined together wasn't just satisfying, it was humbling. For context, the high wing that arrived in the factory had its wings and tail already installed. Seeing that one up close made it perfectly clear, this isn't a toy or a model or a weekend hobby. The high wing is a substantial, beefy machine a flying SUV with a stance to match. Next up was the engine mount with the nose gear attached. A kind of mechanical puzzle like most puzzles, require more persuasion than finesse. A little trimming here, a little coaxing there, and eventually the parts agreed to cooperate with our interpretation of the plans. We hoisted the plane onto the work table and placed the engine mount in place and slid the main landing gear into its slots, just to verify everything lined up. It wasn't final install perfect, but it was good enough to grab a photo and imagine the future. And that's where we'll leave things for now. Plenty more to come, plenty more to build, and one step closer to rolling this bird out into the sunlight. Until next time, happy flying.